as mothers are so used to feeding our children since they are born but somewhere we need to stop this we need to make the child to eat independently few things to follow to make your child an independent eater is what we are going to see in today's video we'll provide step by step process few reasons we tend to feed the child to finish it fast so that a task will be done if the child eats he may not eat properly means his tummy may not be full the place and his dress will become messy child may not like the food and he may not eat it properly so these are the reasons we give it to ourselves child as early as 9 months can eat independently if we introduce the habit of eating by himself as a mother we tend to take up his job and try to feed him saying it becomes late to school late to class since it is lockdown period and there are no schools there is no rush to finish up his feeding time hence try to make them eat independently what food to start with first thing first try to identify which is child's favorite food any food even if it is not in the diet start with the food the child likes some good food items to start with are dosa roti bread boiled rice noodles plain boiled rice worked for me irrespective of whether the child has sensory issues or not child may not like any sticky side dish you provide for the main food so always start with plain dosa without chutney roti without gravy rice without any gravy bread without any jam or salad noodles is a different thing because they like the taste they will eat it even if it is sticky noodles is not healthy though so use it in the initial stage and quickly change it to a new food when to start first when the child is really hungry and when the tummy is really empty preferably for breakfast as the child had his last meal the previous day maybe after a potty time but not immediately after a tiring physical activity when he is back from sports or a ot session so you can choose these timings when you want to start feeding him independently how to start ensure that the child sits in a proper position if you think child is going to run away try to make him sit in a proper table and chair setup and lock him in a way that he cannot come out for instance if you put the table chair on a corner side of the wall you can sit next to him so that he cannot come out try to give him little snacks or his favorite things so that he sits initially without any stress don't give him phone for parents who are still running around and feeding the child first you have to stop this method of running around and start feeding sitting in one place once the child gets the point that he has to sit in one place to eat then try the steps mentioned earlier you can initially make him sit by giving him some toys clay or slime or some sensory toys while feeding no phone once the child sits in a proper position cut the food into small pieces and put it in the plate and keep it in front of him try to feed one piece of the food and clap nicely and say wow if both dad and mom can sit or if anyone can sit along with him and eat it will be motivating for the child next few few pieces try to hand hold him and make him eat with his fingers clap and say wow every time he does that if the child eats only half of what you have given it is okay to start with and don't immediately start feeding the rest of the food once the he finishes eating say good job eating time over clap nicely and help him put the plate to wash for few days let him have half stomach it's okay actually that is what is his body can accept we are feeding way too much that it is not needed for the child if you can find another child of his age or little older make him sit opposite with the child and give him a plate with cut pieces of dosa or roti let the child eat one piece at a time looking at the child's eye and hand hold your child to eat the same way and appreciate big every time if you couldn't find another child either you or dad can sit and try the same family meal time will really help sitting with other members of the family and eating will help the child by looking at others the child will be motivated to eat he will try to imitate what others are doing so it's always good to sit with the family and eat at least make it a point that one meal you are sitting as a family and eating 
if you have a bigger family it will be good if you all can sit for a meal time along with the child for initial few days you have to sit along with him when he starts to eat independently and later you can make him sit alone so have this practice of making your child sit with few more people at your home at least weekly twice or thrice how to introduce sticky food items now cut the food items into small pieces and dip in the side dish in a way that the side dish is in in the inside part of the food and it doesn't touch the child's fingers the child tends to clean his fingers every time it is okay to do that take a fresh neat cloth and let him wipe his fingers every time after trying this for a few days try without the cloth the child will start eating serve his favorite chutneys first for rice items initially give something the child likes say lemon rice rasam rice etc try with his hands first and if not then use a spoon initially and later you can help them with the hands when you start initially always give little amount of food so that child will not be stressed out if you think child can eat 20 small pieces then just serve that for rice and gravy items if child can eat 50 spoons of rice without forcing you try to feed 10 spoons and hand hold him to eat the rest of the 5 spoons and give big appreciation once he finishes the rest of the 5 spoons this they call reverse method of feeding but judge your child right if i say child can eat 15 spoons it means the amount of food the child can take not the amount of food you want him to eat make it a point that you make this as a practice for a month at least without changing the routine don't feed him immediately he should understand that what he eat is what it is for his meal nothing extra will be given first try to start with one meal of the day the other two you can feed make him sit along with other people at home when they have their meal let him eat if he wants from their plate also persistently try don't easily give up it works thank you and subscribe